Hello beautiful people of YouTube, welcome to Aki's Kitchen. At today's episode I will show you how you will make a very tasty, creamy and smooth custard pie with a super crunchy filo crust. In Greece we call it bugatza, but I can assure you, you have never tried one like mine. I can say that Aki's bugatza is the best of the best of the best. Come on, make it with me guys, don't just stand there, get cooking! First of all, we have to preheat our oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's 390 Fahrenheit, set to fun. I have my melted butter here and I love the smell of the warm butter. Now let's make a nice little bed for our pie. All you have to do is brush a 30 by 40 cm baking pan with butter, generously. Please don't be stingy with the butter. And this is the filo. Very thin, very light, very Greek. You need at least 13 to 15 filos for this recipe. I'm brushing one sheet of filo dough with butter and placing it nice and cozy in the pan. And I'm going to do the same with another sheet. I'm not going to brush the rest of the sheet of filo with butter. Instead, I'm going to drizzle the butter over the top of each filo because I don't want them to stick together. So, working with one sheet of filo at a time. Drizzle with butter and sort of crumble or fold gently, like an accordion, and put it in the pan. Repeat this process until all of the seeds are nice and snug in your pan. Place each folded sheet of filo gently next to the other. And don't they look so comfy? Uplift them and please, please, please work very gently. You don't want to flatten them out. Drizzle all of the leftover butter over the top. Don't let any of this buttery goodness go to waste. And now it's time to bake the crust into the oven. Put it in the highest level, 20 minutes. And trust me, it will become as crunchy as possible and off to make the custard. Now, I will add four eggs and two yolks into a bowl. We need more yolks than whites in the custard because it will make it lighter and creamier. Egg whites make it stiffer and more eggy. Add 270 grams of sugar and whisk. Come on guys, you don't need a mixer, so have a little workout. I'm going to whisk this until the sugar has completely dissolved. Vanilla, one teaspoon. Baking powder, one teaspoon. Milk, 400 grams. And heavy cream, 400 grams whisk together. This is very similar to a creme anglaise. The filo should be ready, so let's take it out of the oven. And look at that. Come on, guys. Can you hear that? Can you see that? Have you ever made such a perfectly Crunchy filo, I don't think so. And now it's time to pour the custard over the filo. With a little. And let the filo soak all the custard. Make sure the custard goes everywhere. And before you put it in the oven, Sprinkle some brown sugar to the top for extra crunch. 
just wait five minutes until it soaks the most of the custard. I'm turning the heat down to 180 degrees Celsius. I promise a special treat and this is what I'm going to deliver. Put it back into the oven and bake for another 20 to 25 minutes. My bugatza is ready. And look at this. In Greece we say telio, meaning perfect. You should let it rest and cool for a bit. The smell is so warm and inviting. Now I will sprinkle with some caster sugar. Aha! Cinnamon. Big knife and cut into small pieces. Can you hear that? Amazing. Amazing. I want to try some desperately, but first I will chop all the bugatta. And now the moment has come. This is so creamy, so tasty, so crunchy, so amazing, so perfect, so, 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 so. I cannot put more so, but it's definitely something you have to try, please guys. I hope you are impressed with this recipe and I hope you will make it at home. Please subscribe to my super channel, Aki's Kitchen. You will help me to make more videos for you. And this is something that I'm going to take with me, Fia Pola.